Just like Minecraft, in Terraria, you are able to make worlds using specific seeds to get the same world every time. And with there being so many good items you can possibly get right at the start of your world, I thought it would be a good idea to go over the best seeds for Terraria 1.4.4.9. Before we jump into the seeds, I need to quickly explain how Terraria seeds work, but if you think you already know everything I'm gonna say, then you can just skip to one of the timestamps I have on screen now. While I will show you how to get everywhere without coordinates, I'll still have them on screen when talking about items far away from spawn or deep underground. But to see them, you will need to have one of the following items in your inventory. And lastly, if you just want to copy and paste the seeds, you'll be able to find those in the description. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the seeds. Firstly, let's go over a seed that will let you easily get one of the rarest items in the game, which is the Dirtiest Block Pet. To do this, you will need to make a small corruption world using the seed I have on screen. And then, once you get into that world, all you need to do is go 25 blocks to the right from spawn, dig down 3 blocks, and then you should end up digging up the dirtiest block item, which is one of the rarest pets in the game. Next, let's go over another seed that lets you get another rare pet easily, the Caveling Gardener. This pet is originally from the game Core Keeper, and just like the dirt block pet, only a certain amount will spawn each world. But unlike the dirt block pet, the caveling gardener will only spawn on the end sides of your world. So, to get this pet easily, you will first want to make a world using the seed and world settings I have on screen now, and then, once you're in that world, start heading to the beach on the left side of your world. Once you're there, get on the right side of the trees on the edge of the beach, start digging down, and eventually, you'll run straight into a glow tulip, which is the Caveling Gardener's summoning item. The next seed is one that some of you probably already know about, which is the Celebration Secret Seed. But because of how useful it is, I thought I should still include it in this video. This is a world that you can make using the seed I have on screen now, and once you're in it, you'll notice you spawn on a blue beach with a few NPCs having a party. But we'll want to focus on the princess NPC for now, since she will sell amazingly useful items that she won't sell normally. These are things like a sandstorm in a bottle, which allows you to double jump, the lucky coin, which makes enemies drop more coins, the discount card, which gives you a discount on things you buy from NPCs, and a few other items. This seed also makes other rare items easier to get too, like raising the rod of discord drop rate to 1 in 100. But I'll stop here for time's sake, since I've already covered this seed in my secret seed video with Waffle Time. Next, let's take a look at a seed that will help you get a ton of great loot, like the Terra Spark boots, easily, alongside it being another seed that has a pet dirt block spawn, which is what we'll be looking at first. If you make the world setup I have on screen now, once you're in the world, all you need to do is walk left until you run into a group of sunflowers, and then start digging down on the second to last one. And eventually, you will get a pet dirt block item. But that's just the start of the great loot you can get on this seed. Starting with the left side of the world first, if you go to the fourth cactus in the desert and start digging down until you hit a chest, you'll be able to get the Dune Rider boots. And if you start digging left and going down until you get to where I am on the map, you will be able to find yourself a magic conch, which will come in handy when getting certain items in this seed. Next, if you go to a little bit of forest biome in the middle of the desert and start digging down, eventually, you will run into a small house with a chest, which will have the lava charm in it. Next, if you go to the highest point in the desert biome and start digging down, you will quickly run into the desert pyramid, which will have the flying carpet mount. If you keep going left, you'll eventually reach this big pond in the jungle. And if you start going up, you will be able to find a floating island with a star fury. Then, if you go to the other floating island to the right of the Star Fury one, you'll be able to find a shiny red balloon, which will increase your jump height. Now, if you go back down and start going down the cave on the left side of the pond, you'll eventually come across a house with a magic mirror in a chest. And if you keep going down the cave until you reach this other house, and then go left until you reach the granite biome, you will find two chests, with a band of regeneration and the anklet of the wind. Not too far away from the big pond in the jungle, there's another one in a forest biome right outside of the jungle, and if you dig down right beside it, you will run into this enchanted sword shrine. 
And finally, for the last bit of good loot on the left side, go to the left side beach, and then start digging down anywhere on the beach, and eventually, you'll run into the Aether Biome, alongside two life crystals and a magic mirror in a golden chest. Starting on the right side now, the first thing you can find is in the middle living tree just to the right of spawn, which is where you'll find a chest holding an aglet. The next major thing you can find is in the only open cave in the snow biome, and if you go to where I am on the map inside of that cave, you will be able to find water walking boots. Next, if you start digging left from the water walking boots chest and get to where I'm at on the map, you will find a pair of ice skates. And finally, for the last thing on the right side, if you start digging down in the dip right before the beach, you'll eventually run into a flooded house, which will have spiked Hermes boots in a golden chest. Next, let's take a look at a seed that will help you increase your max health, and get a good bit of money as well if you need that. If you use the world setup I have on screen, you will get a world that makes finding life crystals super easy. Once in the world, all you need to do is start walking left until you find your first cave, and then as you start going down into the cave, you should quickly run into the first life crystal, and then there will be a second to the right a bit. And now that you know where they are, you can remake this world and get enough to max out your health, and can even start selling them for a good bit of money, especially in the early game. This seed also has two more life crystals in it, with one being just to the right of the beehive, and the other one being below it. So, depending on your gear, it may just be better to do what I said earlier and reset after the first two, since there's nothing extra needed to get them. And for the final seed of the video, we have one that will make finding your shimmer biome super easy. And while it isn't necessarily special, I know people have a hard time finding the shimmer biome, so I thought I'd still throw it in here. Once you make the world using the setup I have on screen now, all you need to do is head to the beach on the left side of your world, then start digging down on the second to last block before the ocean, and you will eventually run into the aether biome with a pool of shimmer. If you're on PC or mobile though, you can always just get the map I have on screen now, which will spawn you in the biome instead of you having to go find it. PC users can get this map from the Steam Workshop, and mobile users can get it in my Discord server, which will be linked in the description. That wraps up our look into the best 1.4.4 seeds. And while these are just what I think are the best, if you have any seeds that you think are just as good or better, let me know about them in the comments. Thanks for sticking to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Terraria videos like this in the future. And as always, make sure to have a wonderful day.